Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about the rarest event which we have ever had in Call of Dragons. It's a newest event which is called Brink of War. What's a Brink of War, right? Until the new season will start, new KVK will start, season of Stripe, your future enemies and your alliance and many different alliances are co competing with each other with the ranking of Brink of War, right? The ranking is important because the most important reward which you can get if your alliance will win or your home realm will win this Brink of War is uh, damage dealt bonus 3%, that's a rank 1, if, you're, if you are rank 2 it will be 2% and rank 3 1%. Rank 4 SP recovery speed bonus to 3%, rank 5 legion march speed bonus, uh, resource gathering bonus 5% and hero XP bonus 5%. Well, it's pretty obvious the best reward is rank 1, which is like all damage dealt by 3% is quite a lot, right? So everybody is trying to aim with this uh, uh, Brink of War buff, which will help you to the future KVK to be more effective and to try to win the whole KVK, right? Of course, the personal rewards if you are rank one like personally your one player is one rank one by the points you are getting 4000 gems 50 legendary tokens i have never seen an event having so many legendary tokens which is quite rare right 15 legendary medals uh, 15 8 hour speed ups and some resources and when you're gonna go to the rank two like they are they are having 10 and 1000 less gems and rank three quite same rewards and if you ask me every single reward from here is quite good uh, of course like having uh, 100 gems and one legendary medal doesn't really sound good whenever you can see that here you are give, having so many better rewards right so in general brink of war is couple of days event like it will be one week event every single player every single alliance in a home kingdom is fighting for the winning place right for example, uh, my server is 117 uh, and we are competing with every single alliance which is uh, on our future KBK, future realm, right? So far my alliance is second place and everybody is trying to get to first place because this 3% damage deal bonus is pretty amazing. So first day, Brink of War first day is keeping the piece uh that's uh, also rarest the newest uh, event uh, which we are doing right now uh basically around the map whenever brink of war will start they are spawning uh, um trolls shadow trolls uh which are two types right right one type is the elite one and the uh, another one is just normal shadow troll so how you can get points from here uh, if you're gonna defeat shadow troll uh, for example uh, you are getting 1000 points personal and realm points if you are defeating uh, elite shadow troll uh, you are getting 4000 per uh, personal points and defeat defeating shadow trolls 20 uh, like 4000 personal and 20k uh like realm points realm points means that it will add up to your server points and if your server will be number one that's what i have said you are getting to the best rewards which is three percent damage deal right my advice here would be to always try to find the elite shadow trolls because they are the highest value and also one of my most important advice for rallies because for example if you want to defeat elite shadow troll you need to do a rally if you are defeating a normal shadow troll you just simply need to attack it and you will kill it by yourself always try to defeat only elite shadow trolls with the rallies and try to have only two people inside the rally so you will have you will maximize your points for yourself and for your realm right also you need to have sp in order for you to do this action right as always whenever you are doing rallies you have to have sp right so until you're gonna start 
fighting against trolls, try to find the SP recovery uh, mana stone, which will be helpful a lot, right? It will help you to recover your SP sooner, so you will be able to fight more and more trolls. Also, one important aspect about this is that you should never try to kill normal shadow trolls because 1000 points is almost nothing if you ask me, right? Like 20,000 points on elite one and 4000 points on a personal uh, on elite shadow troll it's quite a lot and of course if you want to help your realm if you want to help your alliance to succeed in a future kvk you have to spend all of your sp recovery potions on this brink of war event this phase will last for two days so you will have enough time to actually kill a lot of elite shadow trolls you will be having like some treaties as rewards some experience books and of course some resources right which are also really really important regarding like phase one rewards keeping the face now, of course, rewards are pretty cool, right? For example, the lowest amount of points is 4k points. You are getting some epic uh, token and some 15 treaties. Every single treaty which you are going to get in this game will be really, really important for the road of the tier 5, right? After that, 20k, uh, 12k points, 100 gems and some universal artifact key. Again, these two are one of the rarest rewards in the game, right? Gems are most important currency in the whole game. 20k points, legendary medal and some resources, uh, which is quite good. And after that, um, the rewards are getting better and better. Uh, you are getting 100 gems, uh, some gold key and of course some epic lucky medals, which is not that important, but a lot of mana, right? The last reward from here is 400k uh, points by defeating Shadow Trolls, Legendary Medal, one Universal Artifact Key, some speed ups and mana, right? So in total, you are getting quite a good amount of rewards like uh, 200 gems, two Universal Artifact Key, one Gold Key, a lot of mana, a lot of resources and some good amount of treaties, right? Every single treaty is important. No, never forget about that. So in my opinion, even the rewards like personal rewards, which you are getting from just playing the game and defeating the trolls are amazing. Uh, of course, we need, don't need to forget about Sentinel Arrows, which are another way of you uh, getting tier 5s faster, right? So this event is quite fun. If you ask me, um, amazing rewards. This realm ranking system is quite interesting because KVK hasn't even started yet, but we have already a competition with the other realms, which is really, really interesting if you ask me. I have never seen anything like this event in the past of Call of Dragons and I have played this game for more than already almost 500 days, right? So that's enough talking about phase one, which is keeping the phase and let's move on to the gathering forces, right? This is really interesting event because a lot of players were waiting for these gathering forces in order to uh, level up their troops from rank uh, tier 4 to tier 5 or even unlocking tier 5 because you are getting amazing amount of rewards and a lot of points, right? Here it seems like gathering forces are really basic event. Like by training legions you are getting points and more legions you're gonna train, more points you are going to have. How to get points? Well, training level 1 unit is the lowest amount of points, 1 to tier 2, and what's the most usual one? Uh, training level 4 units, which is tier 4 units, so 1 unit you're gonna get 8 points, but what's the most important is that whenever you're gonna train tier 5 unit, you're gonna get 20 points, which means if you're gonna upgrade tier 4 to tier 5 you are getting 20 points so this is a huge value if you are just getting to tier 5 and you, you need to uh, upgrade your units from tier 4 to tier 5 it will be huge huge benefit because you are getting some amazing rewards from here too right and also you will try your best to win this um, uh, this event for your realm so you will have 3 percent damage dealt bonus for your whole realm so let's move on and let's uh, see what kind of rewards you are getting by just completing this uh, event and just playing the game, right? The lowest rewards are basically resources and some speed up. 
uh, gold keys, artifact keys, and some speed ups after that. Uh, legendary medal, teleportation, uh, uh, territorial relocation, which is like teleportation scroll, some mana, and uh, after that we have book of the retraining. Randomly reassigns a hero skill level. I have actually never used this uh, book, but I guess it's quite good. Uh, after that, two legendary medal, uh, five three-hour um, uh, army speed up, and book of alteration. And after that, 200k points, uh, legendary token, G3 hero token, and the last reward is G3 hero token. So, if you guys have not gotten the Brink of War event, now you understand that you don't need to waste your army speedups. Wait until this Gathering Forces event will be here, and then you will get a lot of points, you will help your realm to succeed, or maybe you have saved so many speedups that you will make yourself like personal rewards, uh, like at least in top 5, and top 5 is amazing, right? Like even rank 10 uh, is 15 legendary hero tokens, 1000 gems. That's like rank from rank 4 to rank 10, which is quite good if you ask me, right? So if you guys have not gotten the Brink of War event, wait, don't spend your uh, resources, don't spend your army recruitment speedups because it will be amazing value to spend all of them here right you will help your realm you will help your alliance you will get your uh, rewards which is quite good rewards if you ask me they are pretty nice They're like almost every single one of them is quite rare uh, if you're gonna compare it to the other event rewards so this is a great opportunity for everybody to spend the army recruitment speedups in a most perfect way the last stage of the Brink of War is like donating. You are actually donating the resources and that's how you are getting points. Uh, you can only donate uh, three times the gems because it would be awkward because pay to win players can have a lot of gems and if there is no limit in terms of gems in this event then it, it will be unfair, right? In terms of points, well, you can obtain for donating gold, wood or mana or gems you will get reward item for each donation. Uh, points for quest, donating uh, gold, wood or mana for one resource you are getting 1000 points and of course donating gems you are getting 3000 gems. As I have mentioned you can only donate uh, gems only 3 times but I think um, the other resources are unlimited because maximum you can actually donate um, like a lot of um, gold, a lot of wood, a lot of ore and a lot of mana. Now, in terms of rewards, so we can see the uh, rewards from here, like randomly grants one of following items. Uh, the lowest percentage is, uh, I guess, 24 hour speed up, right? Which is uh, perfect. Everybody is trying to get these speed ups because they are really, really useful almost in every single aspect of the game. Doesn't really matter if it's only for research or building or army recruitment, it's universal speed up. Of course, G3 Hero Token is always welcome, Legendary Lucky Medal, Legendary Medals are always welcome, and I think rewards are here in, term, in general pretty good. They are like, sometimes some, some of them are similar to the Alliance uh, Gift Chest rewards, like if we won't gonna count the G3 Hero Tokens and some Legendary Medals, you can get these rewards from the uh, Alliance Gift Chest, right? This is the last stage of this event, so yet again you can see that you don't need to spend your resources a lot, you can wait uh, and you can get most profitable uh, value from here. It's not only about the personal rankings and personal rewards, you need to think about wider, right? Real rankings are most important here. Uh, simply because in like whenever Brink of War will be finishing, new KVK will start, Season of Stripe, and if you are winning this Brink of War, your whole realm, uh, for example, in server 170, we have a couple of alliances, every single alliance member, doesn't matter which alliance from this realm, will get this amazing buff, uh, which is 3% uh, damage deals, like, this is amazing, right? Uh, it's not like attack mana stone, it's not like HP mana stone, it is, it is every single damage type, scale damage, physical, magic, everything, right? 3% additional buff, 
is quite good and if you're gonna think about it like if you are tier 5 player you want to have this buff because you will be more and more effective in the future fights in order to win the server like in order to win the kvk and in order for you to get a lot of merits um, around the battlefield the last uh, preparing for war is quite awkward event, not the best one in my opinion. First one and first one is most fun and most rare. Second one is about value, right? Everybody is trying to have more and more troops and what's better when you simply have can have more rewards while you are recruiting your army or even upgrading them from tier 4 to tier 5 and the last one is about just some spending some resources and i'm sure whenever you have spent some time in home kingdom you should have quite a lot of resources saved up because there is nothing more you can do in home kingdoms rather than catching some pets and gathering right so i guess this event is for that all the resources which you have gathered you can spend it here, you're gonna get some amazing rewards, you are going to help your alliance, your realm, and maybe you will try your best to be a winner of the, uh, like, Pink of War, and you will be getting this 3% damage dealt buff. This is all about the Brink of War. What's important is that whenever Brink of War will be over, next day the Season of Stripe will be starting, and... There will be a huge and amazing fights, new events, um, Wheel of Destiny, Artifact Compendiums, uh, new enemies, new friends, and a lot of exciting time, right? This is the reason why I wanted to share my opinion about the Brink of War event. Um, I want to have this kind of events more and more in the future of Call of Dragons because more rewards you are getting for a free-to-play players, more fun this game is going to be and more players are going to join this game. Um, I hope you guys like the video because I'm, I'm always trying my best to showcase every single detail around the Call of Dragons. If you did, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I hope everybody amazing day, morning and night, wherever you are, we are going to see each other very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.